Hi guys, this is Belal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So in the previous video, I gave you some introduction about what we are going to create in this series. And from this video, we will start our actual project. So the first thing we need is the admin panel as we discussed in the first video. So our admin panel is going to be a web application and we are going to use JavaScript to create this admin panel. Okay. So first we will create this project and to create this project first we will create a very simple folder okay so what you need to do is select a location in your computer and create a folder there so i will create a folder in my desktop so let's name it wallpaper app admin okay now we will open this folder inside visual studio code so first we need to open visual studio code Okay, so this is Visual Studio Code and we will open the folder we created inside this Visual Studio Code. Okay, so go to file and then select open folder and we will select this folder and the folder is opened. Okay. Now inside this folder, we will create one more folder named public. Okay, let me zoom it a little. So we have a folder public. And inside this folder, we will create all the files and folders required for our admin panel project. Okay. So as this is a web app, we will be needing some files like CSS, JavaScript and HTML files. Okay. So we will create one more folder here to store CSS files. Okay. Then one more folder to store JavaScript files, JS. Okay. And then we need one more thing, which is our home page and it will be the login page. So we will create a file here and we will name it index.html. Now this is an HTML file and inside this, we need to create the basic HTML document format. Okay. So what we will do, we will write doc type HTML and then we have the HTML tag. Then inside HTML tag, we have head tag and the body type. Okay, that's it. Now to run this, we need a node module and we call it HTTP hyphen server and it is a zero configuration command line HTTP server. So we will use this node module and you need to install this. I hope node.js is already installed in your system. So to install this HTTP server module, just copy this thing from here. The link of this page is given in the description of this video. So just copy this thing, open command prompt and paste and hit enter and it will install the HTTP server module globally. Okay. So HTTP server module is installed. Now we can simply go to our project folder. So we are inside desktop and then wallpaper app admin. So we are inside our folder. Okay. Now here we can simply run HTTP hyphen server command to start our server. Okay. You see our server is started. Now to test it inside our page, we will write a simple H1 wallpaper app admin okay now let's try going to this url you see we are getting hello world okay so our web server is ready our project is ready now we need a couple of more things for designing the front end i am going to use bootstrap so include bootstrap in your page as well for this we will be using cdn just go to this link it is given in the description copy the css cdn and we need to paste it inside the head tag of our index.html file okay so bootstrap is added we also need jquery okay so we will also get jquery copy this from here and paste it in your page so we have jquery and we have bootstrap okay 
so it is working fine you see we are getting wallpaper app admin so that's it for this video guys uh, i hope you found this helpful and in the next video we will create the login screen so in our admin panel first there is a login screen then we will log in into the admin panel and from there we will upload the images and manage the categories so we have to do this thing and we will start doing it from the next video so that's it for this video friends i hope you liked it if you did please hit on the like button and share this video with your friends thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video bye bye